Hey kids, movies and science have always had an interesting relationship. With every scientific discovery, they're going to make a movie about it. Electricity, spaceflight, radiation, cloning, computers, AI, drones, you name it, Hollywood's exploited it. DNA is especially popular these days. You get to mix and match parts like biological Legos. Next thing you know, we'll be designing children at the Build a Baby workshop at the mall. This is Splice. They really know how to sell these titles. Ow, who hit me? We start with a scientific breakthrough, the combination of different animal DNA. Congratulations, it's a... Uh, haggis. This is Elsa, played by Sarah Polly, and Clive, played by Adrian Brody. He's so cute. We're gonna have to go over your definition of cute. They're young, brilliant scientists, good-looking, with rock star mentalities and a disdain for the rules. I call this the cinematic bullseye. You two are doomed. Our lab has combined the DNA from a variety of species to create a completely new life form. Since the birth of Fred... Ginger. With names like Fred and Ginger, you better damn well have them do a song and dance. I'm trying to be mature about this, I swear. Dicks, they look like dicks. Ginger has exceeded all expectations in her ability to produce medicinal proteins for livestock. We can begin to address any number of genetically influenced diseases. Parkinson's. Alzheimer's, diabetes. Don't ask how they work. After successfully creating these living dicks, the next step is logical. Human beings. Ooh, hold on, let's, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves now. Rather than explore it further, the company's ready to market it. So screw further development, make room for Fred and Ginger's protein squeeze. They're mainly concerned with the human experimentation part and how it would look bad. Forget how it looks, hasn't anyone here seen Species, Frankenstein, The Fly, Mimic, Resident Evil? Corporate-driven genetic research plus cocky, fame-hungry mad scientists? What's the worst that could happen? NERD! While supposedly trying to create more proteins, they also began secret work on merging various animal DNA with a new specimen, the DNA of an anonymous human donor. It's as easy as a montage. This is very fitting montage music. Monotone and repetitive. The human owl sequence is on a bomb with foreigners. So what? We use the light guys other than T4. We'll make them. I think they're just making up shit now. Some failures, but soon they have progress. Proof of concept proven, the sensible thing to do now is store the sample and record the data. I said sensible. <laughs> yeah, that does not happen. Hey, now we're talking. Hey, to nerds, that's almost a sex scene. Just need to know if we can generate a sustainable embryo. Then we destroy it, no one will ever know. What's the point? Elsa prepares to turn the samples into a full-fledged embryo by inseminating some eggs they just happen to have lying around. Hot. Oh yeah, I need a cigarette. Wow, it's hideous. Kill it! This being science fiction, of course the child gestates at montage speed, because we got a movie to watch, damn it. No time for trimesters and shit. Ew, it's all gooey! Well... Is this one cute? Congratulations, Reg. It's a squid. I'm gonna kill it. Mondays, am I right? Just when they decide to be sensible, the little critter gets loose. Aw, it is kinda cute. Again, it's aging quickly, so they don't have to kill it. It's going to die on its own. It also has a pretty nasty stinger that they have to keep muzzled. And Elsa is getting way too attached. But before you know it, the creature is more little girl, which works out because diapering around a tail is no picnic. But they finally give her a name. Dren. Clive's brother Gavin is another scientist who works here. He's played by Brandon McGibbon. And he's suspicious and nosy, so Dren attacks him. No! <laughs> Much discipline. And then they have sex and try not to traumatize Dren. At least she's not judging you the way a cat does. Oh yeah, they have an actual job they're supposed to be doing. Remember Fred and Ginger? Well, it's time for them to shine for their gross TED talk. I still wonder if I should be censoring this. You act like you've never seen a cockfight before. Hey, somebody was gonna say it in the comments.
Yeah, but when Gallagher does it, it's 80 bucks a ticket. It seems that Ginger has undergone certain, uh... She turned into a male. Foreshadowing! Luckily, Elsa has a farm that they can use to hide Dren, who's now an adult. By the way, the, the digital effects they use to make her appear a bit more alien and inhuman is pretty impressive. No, don't hurt the kitty! Whew. She's also getting pretty good at Scrabble. What? Tedi- She spelled tedious. Or maybe she's watching the same movie we are. She just wants to go outside, which she does. She grows wings all of a sudden and prepares to leave. Changes her mind when she realizes she'd have to get a job. Oh, I think someone has a crush. Are there any of me? Clive shows Dren how white people dance. Hey, easy, Jared. You remember this was Dren a few weeks ago? Good night. I have the weirdest boner right now, and I figured out your little secret. It's your DNA. You put yourself into the experiment? Maybe it was cross-contamination? Did this look like a sterile environment? Elsa gives Dren her cat, and Dren kills it. No, I'm not going to show it. My cat watches me edit sometimes, and it's getting weird. Elsa has to subdue Dren before she escapes, and she gets her bondage on. To cut off her stinger, of course she has to remove all of Dren's clothes. I can't tell if this is meant to humanize her or dehumanize her. Honey, I'm home. Oh my god! Well, the stinger should at least give him some of those tasty proteins the boss wants. No, this isn't going where I think it's going. No. No, 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 no. Do you remember these? Or this? You're just gonna keep going, aren't you? Uh, honey, it's... Now I can explain. Um... Need a moment? Try the chocolate caramel and fresh cookie crunch of Twix. It's exactly what it looks like. Yes, be awkward. You just had weird sex with a genetically modified part animal part human child. Well, since she has your DNA, I just wanted to add a little of my own. I don't even know who you are anymore. You're in no position to talk to me about right and wrong. And you are? He's actually turning this back around on her. You never wanted a normal child. Because you were afraid of losing control. It's a desperate play. Let's see if he can pull it off. We've chained her up. We've locked her away from the world. We maimed her. He's doing it. I maimed her. And it's good! Redirect skill at level shaggy. Repeat, level shaggy. Seriously, how do you get her mind off the fact that she saw this? I synthesized the protein. He even got her talking about work! That's bonus points! Sweetie, we're home. We're not fighting anymore. We're just gonna take you out for some ice cream and not harvest you for protein. And when you find her, try not to stick your dick in her this time. I knew you would bring that up. Well, it looks like Dren's dying, and Elsa has to feel at least a little vindicated. They didn't have a shoebox big enough, so it's just a shallow grave for Dren. Oh, busted. Let's see it. She's already dead. It's over. Dren's not dead, but look who is! And so is Clive's brother. <laughs> Remember, we foreshadowed this. Dren's a male now. No, look. Look, we can't stay here, okay? It's out there. Elsa's master plan? Hit that tree as hard as she can with her skull. Success! Dren now mates with Elsa. Uh, rather forcibly, it's kind of hard to watch. And I'm not going to make a joke here. Let's just move on. A bit late, Clive comes to the rescue, and I think he just pisses Dren off. But now it's Elsa's turn, but her hesitation is costly. <laughs> And you wanted to have sex with Dren. But she finally kills Dren. Clive's dead, his brother's dead, her boss is dead, Dren's dead. No ethical company would cover this up. Well, it's covered up. Cut to some time later, Dren's body is a prize for her bosses, and Elsa is making out like a bandit. Hoo boy, I think she just sold Dren's baby to her company. You could just put an end to it and walk away. What's the worst that could happen? A sequel? That was Splice. Sarah Polly's Elsa was a character created in an abusive upbringing. 
We got hints that her mother was cruel. My mother wouldn't let me wear makeup. This made her into someone who hates being told no. You see her trying to be a better mother than her mother, but also slipping into her mother's role a little too easily at times. Can't always get what you want. It's a part of growing up too. She's single-minded, driven, with a desire to control everything. Even when faced with Clive's infidelity, she just beams when her work success enters the conversation. She's part Dr. Frankenstein, part Dr. Moreau, and part Maggie Walsh. Even at the very end, when she has a choice to just walk away, she decides to carry the baby. If you think she's doing it for the money, you haven't been paying attention to the movie. And like Dr. Frankenstein, Elsa is both hero and villain. Her reckless actions set the movie in motion and results in multiple deaths. Dren is a villain as well, albeit a tragic one. She's a result of a reckless experiment that created something unheard of. Clive, 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 man. You done fucked up, son. He's relatively underdeveloped. We don't know too much about him. He starts off fearing Dren, and even attempts to drown the sucker at one point, only to get attached. Really attached. Not letting that go. I'll give it to them. The creature is impressive. It looks sufficiently alien, yet not fantastical. Those are the actress's eyes, just digitally repositioned. Seamless, right? The story is cliched, scientist ignores the rules, plays God, and the experiment runs amok. It still has a somewhat unique spin on the mad scientist trope. Did Frankenstein ever get paternal towards his creation? Elsa wasn't just playing God, she was playing Mother. And Clive played Woody Allen. The movie is mostly a tense ethical drama, but the last few minutes go straight horror. Splice is a 3 out of 5. The story is cliché, the ethical dilemmas are fascinating and could lead to many intelligent debates, such as, would you? Comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. You know that stuff. This is The Newbie. I'll see you later, kids. Be good.